Hello Colas and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona are battling with Chelsea, Newcastle United for this 17-year-old Australian whiskey by name Garan Kual. Of course, he plays for Australian A-League in the Central Coast Mariners. He is becoming one of the most sought-after Australian players in the market. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that Barcelona have set a date for the presentation of Spanish duo Marcos Alonso and Hector Bellerin who just arrived at Barca on deadline day. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. Even though the summer transfer window is done on doorstep, FC Barcelona have not set their sights away from the market and are still keeping an eye on one or two talented young stars. One of those options is Garan Kual of Central Coast Mariners, who is seemingly becoming one of the most sought after Australian players in the market. This has been reported by The Age, who suggests Barca are involved in a long list of clubs looking to get their hands on Kual in the upcoming January transfer window. Currently, playing his trade with Central Coast Mariners in the Australian A-League, Kual is a centre forward, forward by trade. The young star has enjoyed a rapid rise to prominence this year, having already netted four goals in just nine competitive appearances for his club. Despite the teenager's 175cm figure, Kual has mesmerised the onlookers with his goal-scoring prowess and versatility that make him an appealing target for Barcelona. However, the Catalans are not alone in the chase and may festive competition from other European giants including Chelsea. The report even claims Newcastle United are leading the chase to sign the young star who is currently assessing his best option. No Australian player, male or female, has ever played for FC Barcelona in the club's long and illustrated history. But that could change if the club managed to get their hands on Kowal. The 17 the 17 year old shown a lot of promise and has what it takes to graduate from Barca Athletic. However, luring Kual to Barcelona could be an extremely tricky task for Barcelona. The player's agent, John Grimard, has already set up a move to Stuttgart for his brother, and there are no reasons why Kual could be next, especially given Bundesliga's tendency to become home to talented young players. But given the way Barca have prospered in recent years in terms of youth development, a move to Camp Nou could prove to be a rather intriguing um, option for Kuhl as well as he looks to take the next step in his career. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona made two late transfer deals this past week as they secured the signing of Hector Bellerin on the deadline day before landing Marcos Alonso a day later, both arriving on free transfer after their contracts were terminated. Bellerin, a former La Masia prospect, arrived at, as a replacement for Sejino Des, who left for AC Milan on loan after falling out of favor under manager Javi Hernandez. Meanwhile, Alonso has joined as cover at left back, even though Barcelona already have Alejandro Bade and Jordi Alba as options for the position. Both the Spanish fullbacks have been registered in La Liga while also being named in the squad for the UEFA Champions League. Neither of them has made their debut for Barcelona yet, but that could change on Wednesday night when Barca lock horns with Victoria Pleasant in the Champions League opener at Spotify Camp Nou. However, prior to that, Alonso and Bellerin are yet to be presented as Barcelona players and the date for the same has been set for Tuesday, September 6, according to Sport. The event will take place in Barcelona's Suite and Esportiva Complex once Javi's pre-match press conference ahead of the Victoria Pleasant clash is over. While they are yet to be presented, Bellerin and Alonso have trained with the team and could be in line for the debut on Wednesday. So from the look of things, it seems as though Barca will hand debuts to these two guys in the Champions League when we face Victoria Pleasant at the Camp Nou. So their presentation, as we all know, have not yet taken place. So according to this report, they are saying that Tuesday, the September, 6th of September, they will be presented at the Suite de Sportiva. Of course, they both arrive at the tail end of the transfer window. 
and it was very cru crucial for Barca to bring in a new left back and also a new right back. But to be specific, a right back was more important because Sergio no Des earlier left for AC Milan on loan and Xavi did not count on him. So it was imperical for Barca to get a new right back. Hector Bellerin was the chosen one. Of course, after there was a lot of talk about Juan Foyt, a lot of talk about Thomas Mounier, who was the second choice. No, none of those moves worked out for Barca. So Barca had no choice than to go for, you know, the, the next choice, the third choice, who was Hector Bellerin at the time. So Hector Bellerin is our new right back. That's, I think he's the only natural right back we have now at our disposal. So he will be battling for places there alongside um, Sergio Roberto and Jules Koundé. I think Koundé is, is a very, very good right back. We saw Jules Koundé's exploits in the game against Sevilla. I mean, Jules Koundé gave us some Danny Alves vibes. I mean, he was incredible. Look at the assist he gave to Lewandowski for that second goal. It was just incredible. Koundé is a good right back. I don't know if he knows that because he has always been talking about hoping that Barca plays him more often as a centre back. But he's so good at right back to be honest. So it's great to see how things have been. Um, Alonso as well, our new left back came on deadline day. Uh, Alonso is coming to bring in some stiff competition for Jody Yaba and Alejandro Bade. Of course, Alejandro Bade has been the, the, the most used left back, right? Javi has preferred Alejandro Bade to, to, to experience Jody Yaba for reasons that all of us know as Barca fans. Jody Yaba has not been the Alba of the past. Alba is not that great anymore and he needs to accept the fact that age is catching up on him. He's not that fast, he's now slow and there are certain things that some of these senior players need to understand that they will not be here forever. So Alonso is coming, you know, just two years younger than Jody Alba but he's coming to great, give some great competition. Alonso is vastly experienced, playing for Chelsea for many years. Um, so it will be good to have Alonso. You know, play for Barcelona as you know, Javi have been talking a lot about squad depth, which I think Barcelona really have it right now in every single position. So, their presentation will take place this coming Tuesday, of course, just a day before our Champions League against Victoria Pleasant. Victoria Pleasant will play on Wednesday, the 7th of September. So, um, it is widely expected that these two players at least touch the ball for the first time as Barca players on that Wednesday in the Champions League against Victoria Pleasant. It will be great to see them you know, wear the Barca kit and it will be even more great to see them perform so well in their debut. So let's hope for the best for all of them and you know because if they play well our team will definitely play well. You know, Strengthening the fullback position has been one of the most talked about um, things this summer towards the end of the summer and if those guys deliver then you'll be good to see so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching until next time bye bye